Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever it is for you. Thank you so much for joining with me. We are in A Course in Miracles text, The Foundation for Inner Peace edition. Today we are in Chapter 8, The Journey Back, and we are picking up on Section 7 today. I will read paragraphs 1 through 6. If you would like to close your eyes and join me in a prayer, Dear Father, please enable me to set aside everything I think I know. Please allow me an open mind and a new experience. Please help my love to bless the world even from a distance today. Please help me to follow the dictates of love and kindness in all that I do, in each task, whether I'm working from home, whether I have to go out and get groceries, please direct me. Help me to be a channel of love and peace as I truly am. And so it is. Amen. Section 7, The Body as a Means of Communication. Attack is always physical. When attack in any form enters your mind, you are equating yourself with a body since this is the ego's interpretation of the body. You do not have to attack physically to accept this interpretation. You are accepting it simply by the belief that attack can get you something you want. If you did not believe this, the idea of attack would have no appeal for you. When you equate yourself with the body, you will always experience depression. When a child of God thinks of himself in this way, he is belittling himself and seeing his brothers as similarly belittled. Since he can find himself only in them, he has cut himself off from salvation. Remember that the Holy Spirit interprets the body only as a means of communication being the communication link between God and his separated sons, the Holy Spirit interprets everything you have made in the light of what he is. The ego separates through the body. The Holy Spirit reaches through it to others. You do not perceive your brothers as the Holy Spirit does because you do not regard bodies solely as a means of joining mind, minds excuse me, and uniting them with yours and mine. This interpretation of the body will change your mind entirely about its value. Of itself, it has none. If you use the body for attack, it is harmful to you. If you use it only to reach the minds of those who believe they are bodies and teach them through the body that this is not so, you will understand the power of the mind that is in you. If you use the body for this and only this, you cannot use it for attack. In the service of uniting, it becomes a beautiful lesson in communion, which has value until communion is. This is God's way of making unlimited what you have limited. The Holy Spirit does not see the body as you do because he knows the only reality of anything is the service it renders God on behalf of the function he gives it. Communication ends separation. Attack promotes it. The body is beautiful or ugly, peaceful or savage, helpful or harmful, according to the use to which it is put. And in the body of another, you will see the use to which you have put yours. If the body becomes a means, you give it to the Holy Spirit to use on behalf of union of the sonship. You will not see anything physical as what it is. Use it for truth and you will see it truly. Misuse it and you will misunderstand it because you have already done so by misusing it. 
Interpret anything apart from the Holy Spirit and you will mistrust it. This will lead you to hatred and attack and loss of peace. Yet all loss comes only from your own misunderstanding. Loss of any kind is impossible. But when you look upon a brother as a physical entity, his power and glory are lost to you and so are yours. You have attacked him, but you must have attacked yourself first. Do not see him this way for your own salvation, which must bring him his. Do not allow him to belittle himself in your mind, but give him freedom from his belief in littleness, and thus escape from yours. As part of you, he is holy, as part of me, you are. To, to communicate with part of God himself is to reach beyond the kingdom to its creator through his voice, which he has established as part of you. Rejoice then that of yourself you can do nothing. You are not of yourself. He of whom you are has willed your power and glory for you with which you can perfectly accomplish his holy will for you when you accept it for yourself. He has not withdrawn his gifts from you, but you believe you have withdrawn them from him. Let no son of God remain hidden for his name's sake, because his name is yours. Sorry about the light. The Bible says the word or thought was made fresh. Strictly speaking, this is impossible, since it seems to involve the translation of one order of reality into another. Different orders of reality merely appear to exist, just as different orders of miracles do. Thought cannot be made into flesh except by belief, since thought is not physical. Yet thought is communication for which the body can be used. This is the only natural use to which it can be put. To use the body unnaturally is to lose the Holy Spirit's purpose and thus to confuse the goal of his curriculum. There is nothing so frustrating to a learner as a curriculum he cannot learn. His sense of adequacy suffers and he must become depressed. Being faced with an impossible learning situation is the most depressing thing in the world. In fact, it is ultimately why the world itself is depressing. The Holy Spirit's curriculum is never depressing because it is a curriculum of joy. Whenever the reaction to learning is depression, it is because the true goal of the curriculum has been lost sight of. We will stop here today and pick up tomorrow. If you'd like to close your eyes, we are going to move into a silent meditation based on the lesson for today or lesson 87, if you're not on 87 today. So this is in no way practicing of the lesson. We are just using the lesson as a mantra for meditation. Please feel, you, feel free to use this or another, that you, whichever you prefer. Let's start with a 2x breath. Have back supported, head and neck free. Inhale for two through the nose, out for four through the mouth. Let's do this three times and then move into a 3x breath three times and then lastly a 4x breath and go ahead and do that while I repeat the lesson for today. I will there be light. There is no will but God's. I will there be light. There is no will but God's. I will there be light. There is no will but God's.
there be light? There is no will but God's. Please go ahead and think of three things for which you are grateful for today. I don't know about you, but today's reading really spoke to me today. Let us cultivate love in the center of our chest, that love and gratitude that we feel when we think of three things that we're grateful for. Let us go ahead and extend that outward to the top of our head and to our tippy toes. Feel that light emanate all throughout this body. Feel the spirit of who you are, the truth of who you are. Feel the pulsating love and good vibrations. Let it melt away all stress and tension. Feel your neck muscles, your face muscles, your hands. Feel everything just melt away into this light. Now let's extend this light, particularly today, to our political leaders. Let us extend this light and see them in this light. Help them to function on the dictates of love rather than ego. Let us see them using the dictates of love so that we can see it in ourselves. Now maybe our boss or anyone else who might be producing angst. Go ahead and see this light extend all throughout their body. See who it is who they really are. That love, that oneness with you. Let's all join. See all that light join together. We're in a circle, political leaders, anyone who's causing you angst and you're there with them you're all together united in light and love and let us extend this light throughout the world it is healing and truth it is love kindness and mercy that has nothing to do with these bodies Let us remember that as we move through this COVID-19 virus. Let us remember that, that even if we're home, we're never, we're always free. Even if we're home, which I haven't been, but I will be working home soon. But let us, even if we're stuck home, wherever we are, we are free. Let us join in this love and see the entire globe throbbing with this love, this light, this pure, pure, beautiful light of love and healing and truth. No matter what's happening, let us hold on to this joy today. I love you. Thank you so much for joining with me. I'll see you tomorrow.